All right, I have a misfire in my 2009 Hyundai Santa Fe. I tried to go to a couple parts stores asking about wire harnesses and stuff like that because I believe I have a loose wire harness that might have popped loose while I was changing the spark plugs. Uh, so far I found one wire harness out of a junkyard car which I'm going to try to pull one out of this. This is the same exact engine and everything that I have. Uh, this is going to probably be a pain in the ass to take out. Give a little quick tutorial how to get this air plenum off. Uh, you'll mostly need 10 and 12 millimeter bolts to be able to get out these uh, actually that's gonna be the smaller one mostly when you get into the engine bolts most of them are gonna be 12 always gonna be 10 so what you're gonna do is take off these four bolts right here I'm sure you guys can see this or not Take off these four bolts, get this uh, cover out the way. Why oh, you put these covers on here? I don't know. To me, all they do, I guess, to me, it just seems like it would retain heat. Cooler your engine runs better, right? Can't say I'm not an engineer. It's a pain in the ass. You can see this whole engine. It's loose, it rocks. Wish I could drop the whole thing out, but no big deal. My pain in the ass right now to me is that it's kind of lowered into the car, and then the car is elevated, which I don't know why they do that at junkyards. They elevate the cars up off the ground, and yeah. and then this fucking radiator's in the way. So try to go to the parts store, even called Hyundai. And they said they sell the whole harness, but not the individual piece itself. Because I just was looking to get a little harness, just one single piece so I could splice it onto the pre-existing wires. That's not the case here. Yeah, this radiator is going to make it a pain in the ass. I'll get back to you. All right. Got to unloosen some bolts here. Here are two 10 millimeter nuts and another 10 millimeter nut. And these are 12s. That one there, which I took off the nut, took off the nut. And then these are bolts. Also 12 millimeter. And you got three down here that are also 12 millimeter. So 12, 12, 12 here, there, and then this one in here. So you got those taken out. And then you got a bolt. This bolt here, it goes to a bracket right back down in here that you would also have to pry out. Okay, so here's the throttle body. I had to pull off the uh, air hose for it, and or the air intake. This got freaking oil in there. These two bolts are held down by a couple of nuts that run through here and here. And then you got some uh, bolt. You got a bolt right here, and a bolt that goes there that holds on a couple of wire harnesses like this retaining clip right here. That would go there, and then there's one here. That went on that side. And also down low, there's a really long bolt that goes into a hole there. And then under that is another bolt hole, which holds on a retaining clip, which this right here is the retaining clip, which is bolted down. I didn't feel like messing with it because in my car, I wouldn't do what I'm doing to this thing. I uh, use a little mini crowbar to go ahead and pry everything off. So you take off these hoses, make sure you take off everything that you can to be able to get this air plenum off. This is going to be your biggest pain in the butt. Uh, yeah, pretty much. But then you got to be careful that when you go underneath, because I need the wire harnesses for the fuel injector. Since one of mine slipped loose, 
I think it happened when I was changing the spark plugs. It came out loose because I'm having a misfire and it's happening in my fifth cylinder, which is down under here. So it goes one, uh, it's one, two, three, four, or I'm not, I don't, actually, I think it's one, two, three, four, five. You know what? Don't quote me on that. I got to really look at the, um, the map, the firing order, but cylinder five is under here. And I'm gonna see if I can take out that whole wire harness. If not, I'll just strip out that piece and then splice it onto where I need it. So you gotta take all the bolts off around the air plenum, the one in the back. You gotta take off that throttle body. And that's pretty much it. I'll get back to you as soon as I get this lifted up. Okay, I got the air plenum removed. Turns out, here's exactly what I need. This wire harness. Uh, same engine, 2.7 liter V6 out of a Hyundai. This is a Sonata. I have a Santa Fe. Same exact engine. I could tell as soon as I looked at the air plenum there and that cheap plastic cover that I ripped off. So I'm just going to have to extract these. This is your fuel rail. And then your injectors, as you can see, are connected into that harness there. And it's the same thing on both sides. So I'm going to take that whole harness. All right. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope this was helpful to anyone. And this is the Florida sun. It's Jan was it February 1st, I think it is. It's freaking hot as hell out here. I was just up in North Carolina. If you saw my last video with my friend, uh, his 2003 Cobra. If you saw that video, thank you for watching that. And check out his channel. Uh, he's Todd Nelson. You can check him out on uh, probably the comments on that Cobra video. Anyway, thank you for watching. And if there's anything else you would like to see, Go ahead and post it and let me know as long as it's within realistic terms. Thank you.